You can see on the screen there any questions about insurance today we have our lovely friend live from scout camp today nuno mendish from winsurance uh, before we go to him um and i think he is glad of a merciful break in the rain it's been raining overnight on scout camp some of you might remember this you might have scouting memories that you want to share and you may have questions about insurance so pop those into the comments let's see who's here this morning let's share a sunrise from the azores from philomena and i've got a sunrise picture for you as well if i'm not keeping up to date with the pictures you've sent me do prompt me you know i don't mind that um i've got quite a high tolerance for um for people reminding me about things and being quite personal at times uh, but if it goes too far i will let zay Povino do the work and give you one of these look at that um, maybe that's really rude. I don't know. I have to ask Nuno if that's uh, appropriate, culturally appropriate. But I quite like that gesture. So, and sometimes people need it, okay? So you might get a Zay. You might get a Pavinho from me from time to time if absolutely he is smiling in the, in the green room at the moment. Um, I'll say hello to everybody when Nuno comes on the screen. But let's just go very quickly to this video of, um, of the Azores this morning. Thank you so much to uh, Philomena. Who sends these in? Sends these into us. Uh, this is her this morning. We'll have a full-length Azorish movie by the time she's done. But for this morning, just check this out, everybody. So good of her to send these pics in, and they are so beautiful, as you know from seeing them yesterday. But that was the sunrise in the Azorish. Let's go to the sunrise in the Scout Camp this morning. No, no. Good morning to you. How are you, my friend? Good morning, good morning all. Good morning, Carl. Well, it's not <laughs> so good good weather here. <laughs> not sunrise, like you said, uh, during the night, all night long, raining, but uh, we are okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And where are you in, in Portugal on the scout camp? I'm in Lagoa de Santo André uh, okay. at uh, Alentejo Coast. Oh, near beautiful. Cine, near Sinish. Okay, on the Alentejo coast, fantastic. So it's been, even though it's raining, it's quite warm, I take it. Yes, 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 it is. I'm in short, uh, in short sleeves. Okay, so how long have you been there? And how, how, how is everybody doing? Is it just, is it boys and girls now in the modern scouting movement? Or is it just boys on this particular camp? Well, here in Portugal, since I remember, always, uh, always we have uh, girls and scouts together. Okay. Yeah, we have three main three movements of scouting in Portugal. Uh, one is more uh, connected with the, with the church. The other is no well, it's for all all the ideologies, and the other is for is the guide guides uh, movement, which is yes. only for girls. This is yeah. the only one which only for girls. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, amazing. Here we have uh, girls and uh, and boys, and I'm with the cubs, children between uh, six and uh, six and ten. Oh Years man, ago. what were you thinking? So how long is how long does the camp go on for, and what sort of things do you guys get up to there in, in terms of all these kind of outdoor crafts that you're presumably learning about? Time, well, we time. have uh, yes, we have um, under each activity. Uh, uh, even uh, behind each uh, play, uh, each game, we have uh, uh, certain objectives of learning and uh, acquiring competencies, which could be um, leadership, uh, uh, solving problems between them, uh, uh, their autonomy and their responsibility. So uh, it, it, it's uh, our main objective. It's empower the children. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Really good skills to be learning these days. Complementing the schoolwork, I suppose, in an outdoor environment, which is, yeah. which is so 
so much more popular these days, isn't it? Although I suppose mm. it used to be. I guess you, 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 were you a scout or a cub when you were younger? You weren't <laughs> okay. Well, so you, 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 you're, you're learning all that stuff now. Fantastic. Yeah. I never know what is the scout movement until my oldest daughter coming from the scouts. Ah, and, okay. Uh, pff, I just love all the the things that they they do, and when they invite the parents to to be on a, a night camp, yeah, w with fire and everything. Pff, I was uh, a year and a half thinking if if uh, go or not go, go or not go, because this is a question of of uh, commitment. Uh, yeah. So um, I'm in the scout movement. I think that I'm coming f for the the tenth year. Wow! So uh, I arrive very very older. <laughs> <laughs> very old 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 scout <laughs> brilliant oh superb well thank you for making the time to talk to us uh Nuno, i'm sure happy to answer questions about the scouting movement in portugal we had a quick chat before we came live because of course it originated from the uk didn't it baden powell um when i worked at the natural history museum in london baden powell house was right next door i think and scouts would come from all over the world um to that esteemed um HQ there, but it's a big thing, and I, I'm impressed. I, I see, I've seen scout, you know, troops. Are, are you called around Portugal? You know, people get out at the weekend, and it looks like it's a great fun activity, and that the kids are getting in the outdoors and learning all the skills that you just talked about before. Uh, Nuno, also of course from Winsurance. So anything, any questions you have about insurance? Look at him. He's he's on scout camp, but taking questions about insurance as well. Um, and this is unusual in the insurance world. This is a real human being who you can speak to. That's becoming less and less possible in the world of insurance. Uh, so here we have a man who's an expert in Portuguese insurance, all the health stuff, every aspect actually. Um, I've got my own health policy with Nuno, so and he's a great man to deal with. He's also um, a Tesla driver, and he's going to be joining us on Thursday evening. We have got a motoring special on on Thursday with a little bit of an insight into electric vehicles. He is the proud, proud owner of one, but an unlikely one, right? It wasn't your first choice, was it? It was something that you kind of just found yourself in um, almost accidentally. Uh, I could, You could say that way is, is the right way to say it, because <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, someone who would like to change a uh, car every four years or two years or whatever. So I I have uh, uh, I still have uh, Hyundai Santa Fe which I love um, with uh, 15 years and a friend of mine bought one Tesla and I said to him well, congratulations and he told me well you just you, you don't have only because you 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 don't want and I tell him oh no no because he calls also no no. <laughs> Uh, his name is also Nuno. Uh, you know that uh, cars for me is just uh, to use. <laughs> I'm not a fan of cars. Sure. And he just asked me, but you already do uh, a spreadsheet and uh, do the, <laughs> put the numbers on it? And it no. And when I arrived home, uh, I did it. And uh, the first number, the future. I said, no way, it can't be possible. And I start a new one. <laughs> and I achieved the same results. So in this in that night, uh, well, I decided to bought two for the for the company because I was spending like 400 euros a month in diesel. <laughs> and uh, with the Tesla, I dropped that, that number for 100 euros. So... Two, two hundred euros or a hundred off. A hundred, one. Your transport, your your fuel cost came down to a hundred. Yes. Well, that's yes, got to yes. be done. So there he is, Nuno, the numbers guy. Couldn't believe the spreadsheet. He's a convert now, so you can talk to him more about that on Thursday evening. Looking forward to that. But back to this morning, and the kids are very quiet, which is great. Um, let's not tempt fate. Yes, um, yes. I, I, I'm more. I, I coming to. Uh, <laughs> A part with the camp where the kids, the kids are taking the um, the, uh, the the breakfast, and uh, so that's why they are quiet. <laughs> I, thought they, I thought they were practicing their knots and we're all tied together, being quiet somewhere. Uh, but you're not. <laughs> 
shouldn't do that. Okay, bon dia everyone from Andrea Hogan. Good morning. And uh, from Francis as well. Bon dia todos. Bon dia from Stephen, from Mark and Elra in Finland. Good morning to you all from Australia this morning. Drew is here too. And um, some uh, desejo a todos. Uma boa terça-feira. So we're looking at, um, a, from a rainy Relvas this morning, he's wishing us a beautiful Tuesday today. Thank you very much. Very good Portuguese. I think you're enjoying yourself here, aren't you, Matty? And bumped into uh, some mutual friends from the show, which is great yesterday. Do, do tell us more if you think that's appropriate, Matty. I wish everyone a nice Tuesday from a rainy rail bus. We, I know that, Matty. I knew that that's what it said. Uh, greetings from Harrogate. Wow, sunny and warm here. 25 degrees centigrade in uh, in the UK over there. I'll pretend I'm in Portugal. And now where's the sun cream? Hello, Carl, and special hello to Nuno. Oh, a special hello. Uh, sounds like he might be a client. Keep up the good work. Thanks all for your help there, Mr. Richards. Confidentiality, we'll leave that hanging there. We won't out you necessarily, but there was a special hello there, I noticed. Sarah's here. Uh, bon dia. Here's a question for this morning. Are there leash laws in Portugal? Is that for dogs or for humans, I wonder, Sarah? I don't know if you'd know about that, Nuno. Are, are, are people required to keep their dogs on leads in Portugal? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, they, must, they must use a leash with, yeah. with the dog. Unless she was talking yeah. about children as well. I don't know. I think that's probably dogs she's talking about there. Okay, good morning, all. Bon dia from Ton as well in uh, the Netherlands. Good morning from Gemini. Jim's here as well. Yep, Jim from Baltimore saying hi to you as well. And uh, bon dia from Louise, who actually says later on in, in the thread here that she thinks a scout camp for adults would be very popular. I think she's right. You know, the kind of wild craft, the Bear Grylls stuff, because he's, he's your man now, isn't he, Bear Grylls? Isn't he the chairman or the CEO of the scout movement? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that is in England. Yeah. In oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Only for right. yes. But would you would you be interested in running a camp for grown-ups? No, 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 no. I, I like children. <laughs> <laughs> They're much easier, aren't they? Much more enthusiastic. Can you imagine yeah. working, working with a bunch of? Oh, do we have to, Nunu? Yes, you do. Oh, we don't feel like it. The kids are up and ready at six o'clock in the morning, aren't they, to do stuff? Fantastic. Hola, bon dia, alegria para todos. Buenos dias, Nunu from Virginia Larson as well. They're mixing it up a bit. Quick question. Let's say if you restore a ruin, when is the point that you can insure it as a house? Is it only when it's completely finished? That's a great question, Tom. So a bit of uh, house insurance um, there. Um, can, wh when, when can you insure it? When, when is it considered a house? So uh, we can we can uh, ensure ensure the construction, okay? Yeah. If uh, if a uh, fire, for example, uh, destroy it or a uh, earthquake, um, uh, but uh, we don't have a full uh, full coverage. Okay. We only have a full coverage after the building uh, he is completed uh, reconstructed. Uh, because there, there are certain risks during the construction that we can't uh, we can ensure like uh, water damages or uh, damages due from gas a gas explosion because it depends the 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 deep of the reconstruction works That's right yeah can understand yeah. that and if it he depends. hasn't got any, if he's got no doors or windows that means if someone steals his um, his TV, <laughs> that you, you can't cover that sort of thing. So, yes, I think we get the gist of that. So, basically, there are stages of buildings insurance there, Tom, but but you've got to wait till you're, the building is secure for proper home insurance, as you would understand it, I think. Um, Elra, it's not polite at all. Well, I'm so sorry if I've offended anybody already. I won't show that picture again of Zepovino. I didn't realize, Nuna, did I make a big mistake there with that picture? No, no, no. We don't. Well, it's something that uh, it's not polite. It's true, <laughs> but it's something. No, but but it's something that uh, we all in Portugal uh, love uh, about that, and uh, so no oh, problem at all. At all, no problem. I'm so glad. I was with my children in in Caldash, uh, in the park, <laughs> Tom Carlos Park in Caldash, and it's all about Bordal, Bordalio, isn't it? The um the, the creator yes, of Bordal Pinheiro. Yes, yeah, Bordal Pinheiro. He, it was an artist. Yeah, yeah. And he created Zepovinia, didn't he? The man of the people, who I think is yeah. such a great character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he speaks his mind, right? <laughs> to the politicians <laughs> and to his fellow man. Uh, beautiful. Says Gemini, I think she approves of, wh of where you are there in the Lagoa de Sant Andre near Singe. Uh, thank you, Elra, for, for, for... If anybody wants to look that up, there you go. Elra's put that in the comments for you. Bon dia from Lude. Lude's here again. That's great. 
Another insurance question, you know, uh, which insurances are mandatory in Portugal? So what do we have to have? Obviously, for the vehicle we do, what else do you have to have? Um, <clears throat> a, a part of the property insurance, uh, with, which, um, let me say that what is mandatory is the fire uh, coverage, but yeah. uh, nowadays uh, all insurers, what pr they provide, uh, is a multi-risk uh, insurance, not only the fire, okay, the fire okay. coverage. So yeah. uh, we have for property the the fire the coverage, and then all the other insurance that are mandatory are related with liability, like yeah. third parties, uh, car insurance uh, or car coverage. Uh, for the using of weapon, uh, weapons, weapons. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it's just a, so, it's just a bit of a surprise <laughs> the idea of that. Yeah, yeah. For for dogs, dogs uh, that are special, uh, n not not the friendly dogs, but there yeah. are some. Uh, the the word is racist. Okay, I, racist. Oh, speak the, the 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 more dangerous um, types. The the, the, more yeah, the yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, yeah. For one, uh, and uh, we have a list in Portugal. Uh, oh. the, uh, it's a mandatory insurance also. Ah, interesting. Okay, so that might be that might apply to you. I don't know. You have to check if your if your dog is part of that list of. I, I guess let's go with the term dangerous dogs for now. And we know that the, your dog isn't necessarily dangerous, but it is it is dealt with as a, as a as a category rather than the individual personality of the dog. I think, which is unfortunate, exactly. obviously. Some because actually the friendliest dogs. I know in the UK the Labrador is the one apparently, as I recall, it, that causes the most injuries. The friendliest seeming. Uh, oh breed um and and the, and the seemingly dangerous ones they're often very sweet dogs aren't they the rottweilers and, and and the bulldogs and so on so that's unfair but necessary to answer your question there matty possibly uh, i miss my scout day says francis i wish that for my boys but it became very different here love to see it still thriving in portugal it so is you see the evidence in front of you there uh nuna's with us live from scout camp today can we see a little bit more of your um of your what's that called is that the do you call it a woggle here Huh? The, the, oh, the next, what's what's that called? Anilla. Oh, okay. Um, and there you go. So that, that's the, this is official official badge of of scoutdom in Portugal. Yes, I bring this from the jamboree in Japan. I think eight years ago or something like that. Hold on a minute. A ja you went to Japan with the scouts. Yes. <laughs> wow. I, I, every time I, every time I talk to you, I find out, I find out something new and fascinating about you. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla, the Japanese, the Japanese Japanese now. Um, Jim and Mandy saying hi from Baltimore in the States. Uh, Pam's here as well with a bon dia. Hello, Pam. Thank you for the sunflower, the girasol there. Um, so in South Africa, you pretty much insure everything against theft, whether it's your home, your parked car, stop to a traffic light, well, and someone smashing your window. Is it a thing in Portugal? I think as, the, as what, the third safest country in the world, um, it's not such an issue, uh, I would say. Do you have a comment on that? No, no. It depends a lot of uh, each person. Uh, so I, I can confess that uh, I'm uh, a little bit mad with insurance. I I have insurance for for everything, everything, uh, because uh, I prefer to have insurance and never use it rather yeah. than don't have. And for one situation, uh, could be a could be messy uh not the player <laughs> uh, so i i prefer i prefer that so but it depends i uh, usually uh portuguese uh people uh, look to the insurance as a cost yeah uh, and my experience is that uh usually uh, people living in the in the north of Europe, like the Scandinavian uh, countries, uh, they have much much more caution, and they they ask for insurance for everything. So <laughs> I know that it, it is cultural, but it also has it also has um, something very particular, 
uh, and that which which varies along the the life of uh, the people my my first life insurance starts in the day that my oldest daughter born so yeah got it absolutely yeah all right so it's kind of cultural francis i, th I think that will that will address your question certainly not as uh, intense i think is probably the best word to use as south africa um so back to scouting then for, for matty in germany they're called fud finder the pathfinders and we had those also for a very long time groups are often related to church as some are here in portugal as well um yes. here's a question for, that, that combines both interests this morning and uh, what insurance would be needed to allow scouts to use a woodland uh, camp on land so you have to have insurance presumably to have all the kids there and and their their safety yeah. yes 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 we 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 have uh, an insurance of uh, personal accidents okay. for uh, for all of us yeah okay. which is uh, uh, it's handled with, with the organization not yeah. uh, not by each group it's the organization yeah, okay. that provides for all that might that would make good sense. I bet that's a good contract to have, Nuno. Um, so uh, maybe Stephen's thinking of um, of maybe when he has his land, he wants to rent it out to scouts. Uh, I don't know if that's um, what he's thinking there. Gown up scouts. Now that's different. I thought it was grown up scouts, but gowns are like dresses. So maybe there's a kind of um, dressing up scouts thing uh, would be popular. So we'll go away for the weekend and dress up like women. I don't know. That sounds like an entirely different weekend there. Um, I've Maybe. been on a weekend like that. I don't think I want to do it again. Um, Deagle McKillen, bon dia from what will be a great day in Belfast. A hot 25, great week for early September. And blue skies, 38 sleeps for Deagle until I'm in Faro, says uh, Deagle there. That's brilliant. Boom! Oh, boom de alegria. We love out Santa Fe and we had two of them. Oh, okay, we love our Santa Fe, the Hyundai. Yes, when you were talking about your Santa Fe then, Nuna, you did smile as though it were a you know part of the family. Yes, it is part of the yeah. family right, because okay. I, I I bought one with with uh, seven places, and uh, I just filled the car with uh, my daughter's uh, friends, and we go. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> is there a people carrier then the Santa Fe? Yes. Oh, is it seven seats? Yes, seven seats. Oh, okay, fantastic! I must keep my eye out for one of those as well. If you ever sell <laughs> yours, no, no, let me know, right? Okay. <laughs> And I'll give you the insurance contract. Well, you have my insurance contract anyway. Uh, and they're all saying hi to each other there, the, 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 the primates, the young primates of the man cave. Um, this is a good question from Andy. Can my right hand drive? So, this, you know, the, the Brits coming over, maybe um, others coming, wanting to import their cars. Can you do insurance? And is it, how different is it for a right hand drive car when you're doing the insurance on that? Actually, uh, as long as the car already has the um, the plate, the Portuguese plate, mm. no one will ask if the car uh, has, is right-hand drive or left-hand drive, drive. So, okay, right. need have the Portuguese plate. Right. Okay. And it's, it's, can you only insure Portuguese plates? Everything has to be matriculated for Portugal for your insurance. Yeah, exactly exactly oh, okay. yes all right okay so there you go andrew that's good news we have some one or other uh, exceptions but usually yes okay um and electric bikes as well as electric vehicles maybe you'll join us on thursday matty uh, he's getting his energica ss uh, nov uh, electric motorcycle for the night that's that's good numerology there for you matty send us pictures when you get that when you paul richard saying no I wonder if that's the dressing up weekend he's talking about there. But talking of which, um, it's funny that you should be sending me um, a picture of this kind uh, into the show, uh, Paul. Um, Paul sent me this um, for some reason. That could be how I turn up for that weekend. I don't know if that's what he's referring to. Hola, bon dia from... You won't be able to get that out of your minds, everybody. Hola, bon dia from Hank in California. Thank you, Andy. We'll sh sh share your pictures that you sent me yesterday that I didn't have time to share a little bit later on after we've um, sent Nunu back for a bit of breakfast himself. Bon dia, Scorchio, uh, in Little Portugal, Southwest Nine today. I'll do send pictures, Midlife Crisis, of the lovely uh, Portuguese uh, enclave of Southwest London, if you don't mind. Maybe the local shop there that does the Pastel de Natas. Uh, bon dia from a very warm Botswana. Good morning, Pippa. Is that a woggle? I've joined late. It is. Um, and can we have the name? Can we have the name of that again from the Japanese jamboree? What's it called, Anuna? Anilia. 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 
Anilia. Okay, fantastic. Um, at Sarah, a leash must be used unless in a dog park. There you go. Um, Hank, Andrew, Louise, they're all screaming out to each other. And uh, yeah, it was a dog loose in Alvor. You've been, you'd be amazed at how fast a 67 year old woman can ride when motivated. It does happen from time to time. Dogs off leads. Uh, I had to. I had to a man up like a scout myself the other day when a dog came at me and my family. I don't know where the resources came from. You know, the wild boar story from recently. But uh, uh, Three dogs, one of them came towards me, teeth snarling. And I just puffed out and kicked it, uh, gravel in its face and it backed off. And I stroked it in the end. I, I tamed it uh, as though it, from wolf to domestication in about uh, two minutes. Uh, bon dia, Phil's here, here in lovely, sunny Leicester. Good morning to you, Phil. And Capricorn 12. Three weeks after purchasing our property, we had a flood. Oh, no, the ceiling collapsed, affecting the first and ground floor. Insurance company stated the Sun Terrace wasn't covered. It was shocking. Should have gone with insurance. I think that's possibly the lesson there. I don't know. Is that a thing? Terrace is not covered, Nuno? No, it is, ter- it is covered. But uh, I, don't, uh, I need to know the specifications of why the insurance didn't uh. cover it might be worth talking to Nunu there, Capricorn 12, and get yourself a decent uh, company to work with. I have two questions about the Scouts in Portugal. Are they all via the church? I don't think so, right? Also, is there any support for children who don't yet speak Portuguese? I think it'd be a great way to integrate for my grandson, uh, but they're not religious at all. So I think you said before, not all are, have an, a religious affiliation, but would it be would it be okay for a, a, a young lad who doesn't speak much Portuguese to go into the Scouts? Uh, yes, it's a question of integration, and w- we know that the best way to learn uh, language it's, is to stay with the group. And yeah. <laughs> after all, you you you, you start speaking with, the, with with your friends. So absolutely. Yes. He'd have a great incentive, I think. That sounds like a lovely idea, Fiona. Fantastic. And how does Fiona find out? I mean, is it, there's a Portuguese scout website. Is there where you can find out what your local group is? Uh, yes, yes. You could find... Uh, I could sh- write you. I will write you. The... Oh, okay. Well, while you're doing that, I will, I'll say hello to a few more people. Good morning, people. Enjoy the rain that's forecast. Yeah, um, there is a heavy, heavy um, rain forecast for Portugal. So be careful out there. Maybe pack a brolly. Uh, but in this weather at the moment, as well with the humidity, you'll soon be dry again. Don't worry about that. Um, health insurance would be a good thing. Uh, liability insurance if you run a business, says Andy there. Jeff, question. Uh, do people who rent a property generally uh, purchase renters insurance for contents personal property and general liability so homeowner obviously has to do the building if you're a renter you can insure for your contents no no yes yes you can okay fantastic um andrew dog pet insurance is a must he says well he's got great big dogs uh, who um that, so that's a, a good spend in the gilchrist household there breeds like pit bulls i assume so this is on the on the list right uh, no, no, for the, the, the so dangerous dogs. Okay. Um, do you have to take separate insurance for your property and car, or can it be combined into one policy? Oh, okay. So there are, are there combo policies now for insurance uh, for the property yeah. and the car? Separate. separate. Oh, separate. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, Rottweilers, uh, are German Shepherds or Rottweilers on that list? I think that's a question for the forum. That would be great, Matty, if you take that to the forum. Uh, Nunu might want to contribute there and, and have a solution for you, obviously. But I think that's a great one for the forum. And I'm sure some people on there will know. Here we go. Um, here's the list from Andy already. Um, the usual suspects, you might say. I don't know what a Tozo Inu is. Okay. So if I need half of an insurance as Simba, so half an insurance. Now, maybe double. If you've got both breeds in there, it might be double and not half, I think, possibly. Thank you, everybody, for putting the list of dogs. And Andy saying further information on dangerous dog breeds in Portugal is available from the Attorney General, District of Lisbon website in Portuguese. There you go, um, with your Google Translate. No, no, um, thank you so much for joining us. I know you've got to go and be a scout leader now. I don't want to keep you here all morning. But is there anything else you want to share with us before you go? No, just... just uh... Just to, to say that uh, I'm happy to to be here and uh, I'd like to to talk with uh, with people and uh, it, it's a different approach because usually uh, people seeing us or me as uh, with a, uh, s- some some format very 
<laughs> very straight and uh, yeah. well we all are equal so i'm yeah. just like you and he's a human well, being so. as well yeah he, yeah he's not he's not just an insurance bot he is a real human being too as you can see there and go to our business directory uh, forward slash insurance to, to start a conversation um, with uh, Nunu uh, via the many platforms that the company operate on. You're happy to talk to people uh, in all on all the platforms, it would seem, Nunu. Uh, yes, we have, a, well, we have a, an app for our, for our clients uh, and we are available through Facebook, through WhatsApp uh, and email and phone and whatever. Fantastic. Well, have have a great time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I, I, think, I, think, I think the scout count for grown-ups could be good. I know you don't want to do it, but it could, it could, <laughs> no, be, no, a no. could be a lot of fun. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, Nothing uh, we, we usually say the the worst part are there aren't the kids, <laughs> are their <laughs> parents. <laughs> That's what teachers say as well, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's so true. Okay, all the best. No, no, have a great time, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Oh, on Thursday. Thank you so much. Thank you so all much. Right. Bye. Bye. See you. Okay, adios. Oh, fantastic. What a lovely bloke he is, and uh, a great guy to speak to. I can speak from my own experience of... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, culturally, I'm not used to health insurance, and I only I've only ever traditionally done the insurances. I've absolutely had to, like motoring, uh, and and I've changed my habits. And it's lovely to be able to talk to somebody like Nunu um, and get the personal service because so much of it is done online now, isn't it? And 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 um, you're you're talking to um, people who work for computers, really. That's that's the way, modern way of so many businesses now. But a personal touch there at Win Insurance. Check them out on our business directory. Matty, look at you. I forgot to mention, got my NIF yesterday, proud owner. Is this working, this button? <laughs> Smattering of applause for you, sir. You'll regret it eventually, but I know <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a great moment um, in becoming Portuguese there. Uh, so he got his NIF appointment, and despite my naysaying and negativity about it, done in 20 minutes, we need to know which office of the finances this is um, so that other people can go there because you don't have to go to your local one. You can go to anyone to get registered. Obviously, it makes sense for the government to have you on their books as a taxpayer. So any any office will do. So was that Al Viagra? Actually, I should give you the proper name, shouldn't I? Al Viagra. Uh, they even called me in 15 minutes before my appointment. It just gets better and better, Matty. Oh, is that my um, green screen there? Do I, do I have to hold it up manually with one hand or do I just let the magic... Um, or, or do I just turn, I'll tell you what I'll do. Shall I, I'll, I'll chase the green screen across the room. How about that? What a pro, um, everybody. <laughs> okay, uh, 27 minutes to go until 10 o'clock. Will the, will the green screen hold until that time? Stay tuned to find out. And also see me swatting flies on my forehead because the windows, are, the, the, the French doors, the patio doors are open and um, flies are coming in and it's very humid today. So uh, anyway, that's just a bit of... Um, Bit of what's going on, a bit of my context there. Uh, stay tuned to see me fl uh, swatting flies and the green screen coming off the wall. I went to Millennium Bank also. Uh, hold on a minute, how did he get on there? Right after um, lunch, it would say, or right after the NIF. Oh, yeah, but since I was at the bank at 11.45, they told me to come back after lunch. Yes, of course, it's important in Portugal. Um, you've got to be Portuguese about the lunch thing, and I hope you did have a good lunch yesterday, uh, Matty, uh, waiting for the bank to come back. Uh, dangerous, those which have bitten, attacked, or injured a person, says Andy, carrying on with the insurance for dogs here. Those which have seriously injured or killed other animals, uh, think of specific breeds or a crossbreed with one of the specific breeds. So very helpful. We are some dog lovers here, aren't we? I think at the moment the dog lovers have it over the um, cat owners here, um, but that can change. We do get more pooch than pussy. Um, so I went to uh, to a nearby Pas pasteleria. Is that the correct name? Well, yeah, pasteleria. Uh, and Jessica and Neil were there too, so we had a nice chat while I was waiting for my supper de dia. Yeah, I think the it, it, sometimes it's, it, our sex expats do stand out a bit, don't we? And they, there you were possibly, Matty, um, as the obvious Northern European in the room. And Jessica was there, um, who came on to talk to us about the uh, expat association that she has started in Panella. So um, spotted 
uh, people from the Good Morning Portugal show. Isn't that fantastic? Expats Portugal uh, community at large and meeting each other out on the streets of Portugal. Fantastic. Um, MMDB, well done. Uh, and your, your free membership for life. That's right. Um, <laughs> yes. NIF, a NIF isn't just for Christmas. Um, I gave up with Millennium and went elsewhere. Okay, because of the lunch thing, possibly, says Phil. Uh, Maxine, are there good pet insurances in Portugal? I would refer you to the honourable gentleman who was with us. Uh, Maxine just now, Winsurance. Gown up. Sounds like flashing, lewd. You haven't been here, and yes, and you are being lewd, I think, uh, here, but no worse than me, of course. Um, and is the official, thank you to, to Paul for sending this in. This is my, uh, or maybe Paul's offering for the official uniform of our grown up scout weekend. What do you think? Uh, it's going to be on an Algarve beach to get together. Um, yeah, maybe we will be only wearing wigs. I don't know. Um, but um, that's a kind of bizarre twist. I didn't think, expect to be having this kind of conversation this morning, but let's see where this goes, shall we? Uh, Nunu has already said he's distancing us himself from us, and who could blame him? After lunch, I went back to the bank, and after an hour, hour or so, I had my bank account. That's good work. I would say take the rest of the week off. He has a NIF and he has a bank account uh, all in one day, in half a day. Because normally I would say in Portugal, you know, that the, the, the first meeting is just to find out what you need to take for, to the second meeting. But he has scored there. He's got the cigar, this man. That's really excellent work. Niff and bank account, done and dusted. Um, well done, Matty. Uh, more applause for you. Uh, my whole goal is to have more personal access to nature. And that's a little bit worrying, the, the phrase personal access to nature. Um, how personal exactly? Uh, so making that available to the younger generation uh, that uh, they that want it to make sense to me. Okay, perfect, Stephen. I think um, you, I love the sound of your uh, outdoor experience that you're setting up for Portugal. Um, there will be other people, won't there? You know, you know, like Jenny, Jenny B, um, who are on the same lines here, and and I hope it ought too. It's part of the. Um, regeneration of central portugal too let's let's be part of that right um jerry's here everybody and why while we're here and jerry's here i have a little video of jerry to share with you uh this is jerry's catchphrase everybody see you in port see you in portugal there jerry i think won't thank me for sharing that um but anyway um as an ex-scout and scout leader it's great to see how active the movement is in portugal i still have loads of friends from my scouting days and great memories of kids achievements fantastic such good work um elsa riley hi all elsa i think i was in your man the other day wasn't i uh, tons of admiration for people who give up so much of their time for the benefit of children yeah i mean when we were having a little laugh before the show um nuno was saying he pays he pays to be a scout you know um, and it's all voluntary, but clearly um, it's so much fun. And yeah, being 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 a part of people's uh, um, learning skills, skills for life in the scouting movement. You can ensure a right hand drive once you've started the matriculation process. Thank you, Tony Aston, for that. Appreciate it. Gary's here as well this morning. Gary uh, Orgles, a bond here from Newark, England, are still working on the dream. Well done, Gary. How can we help? Do let us know. I can see another show here. Clubs and organizations for adults and children in Portugal, Louise. Can Louise, do you know how lazy I am? Why don't you do the research on that and then come and co-host that with me? Fancy it? Um, thank you for the information. Nuno. I'll pass it on to my daughter. Um, I'll, I, I will um, I'll mention that to Nuno. That's a great shout there, Fiona. Uh, excellent. And here's how to get in touch with the man himself. Uh, you know, I'm sure he'd even take scouting inquiries on that. He's such a nice bloke. Uh, sorry, I missed the recommendation for dog insurance. Not at all. Uh, and uh, Antonio stepping in as well here uh, for your benefit, Fiona. There are at least two scout associations in Portugal, the CNE, Corpo Nacional de Escutas, um, Church Connected One, and the AEP, the Associate. I always struggle with this word, Associação. Associação uh, de Escoteiros, Escoteiros de Portugal. There you go. Thank you, Antonio F. Good man. And uh, there's also the Associação. Associ Associação uh, Guias, the guides, of course, uh, for Portugal for girls only. That's why I think I didn't get into scouting uh, and 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 being a cub or or a beaver, is because it was it, it was it wasn't no girls were allowed. I think I might have been more attracted to it if it had been um, 
um, you know, girls and boys allowed there. Um, I can vouch for Nunu, really helpful and friendly when I contacted him for my car insurance. Thank you, Louise, for that. Jerry, <laughs> the young Primex greeting for you, um, Jerry. A limp green screen again, Carl. Yes, it's never, I'd like to say it's never happened to me before, but it's clearly untrue. It happened to me yesterday. It's becoming a habit. Uh, yes, it was in Al Viazra, correct pronunciation and spelling there, Al Viazra everybody. Uh, Catherine's here as well. Hello, Catherine. See you soon. Uh, bon dia, Carl. Look, the flies here, everybody. Nuno had a few uh, flies, didn't he? But you'd expect on Scout Camp, not in a professional broadcasting studio setting. Um, Nunu's details for Catherine. Uh, let me just put those on the screen for you again there. With our Twitter, uh, Morning Portugal on Twitter, if you want to follow us there. We don't do much on Twitter. I mean, I mean, people only go to Twitter to get worked up, don't they? Um, I do pub publish the podcast uh, via Twitter every every morning after I, I've bundled up the show as a podcast. Uh, be interesting if you want to follow us on Twitter. It's Morning Portugal, as you can see there. And there's the link for you, um, Kate, uh, to get in touch with Nunu and his team. Okay, um, back to your comments. Uh, let's see what's what's going on. Cheers! Ah! as well um I, I can i guess i can share the oh i see i sent you yesterday what was that what did you see? oh the picture the pic not the oh i see I, i'm gonna check i'm gonna check with um with the lovely lady you met there uh matty but it was great to see thank you for sending me. i really do appreciate it i would love to hang around until the end but need to head off to the airport to catch a plane to portugal oh yes one of these for you and some of that Congratulations. Get that champagne ready, Jerry. Um, have a good flight, Mark. Yes, great trip from Antonio. What a lovely community you folks are. Uh, wishing all the best to Mark um, on behalf of all of us, I think. there, Scouts is most likely why I'm here. Be prepared. Yeah, absolutely. That's the motto, isn't it? And uh, Andy sending best wishes to Mark there. Uh, we have worked with Nuno for our health insurance. We're very happy. Thank you for that testimonial, Jim. Have you moved yet, Carl? Yes, loads of times. And again, or found where you're going to go. Actually, yeah, well, while well, you asked that, Fiona, or are you guys going to travel around for a while, camper van or Airbnb? Uh, okay, not camper van, nor Airbnb. Uh, the Good Morning Portugal show is going on tour for a few days, um, in a couple of days' time. And we will be broadcasting from Lisbon um, for, for a few days. And thereafter, a bit of um, a surprise to us all, <laughs> frankly. Um, hold on a minute, no excuses. Uh, in my Boy Scouts time, girls were allowed, and that was in the 1980s. Yes, but for me, Antonio F., it would have been the 70s, I think, if I was going to be a cub. And definitely, it was black and white, and no girls allowed at the time. Um, yes, so st stand by for, for, from, from some Lisboa to action uh, in the coming days. Um, we're, going, we're delighted to be heading to Lisbon for a few days and having some fun there. And um, as yet, um, I, I have no other plans to announce with you. But it may be if you have a, a, a splendid uh, holiday home or annex from where you wish me to um, broadcast the Good Morning Portugal show. Yes, um, perhaps uh, Martin Yal, if you're viewing, um, if, you, if you could organise a, a, a nice uh, detached uh, little um, cabin um, or any other holiday company around Portugal, um, Expats Portugal and the Good Morning Portugal show would be delighted to, to take on a winter residency um, in the downtime and broadcast from from your premises. How about that? I hadn't thought, hadn't thought too much about that before, but that's a great idea, isn't it? Um, I'm sure I can sell that idea to Mrs. M at a five-star stay um, at a rather nice um, woodland cabin somewhere for the winter residency of the Good Morning Portugal show. Well, over winter in the south of Portugal, perhaps. But let's see what comes in on that. Um, maybe, yes, maybe someone would offer a shed um, at their undeveloped kinta as well, or what, what one of their stones that people get free with their kintas in central Portugal. Okay, um, shoot, excuse me, I forgot to ask about healthy. I've been up since the early doors, and that's some, I've had some hastily drunk coffee there, which might be uh, fighting me. Um, forgot to ask about health insurance, says Matty, and how to switch from Dutch to Portuguese health insurance and when to do that. Have a chat with Nuno about that or his team. Um, are you there tomorrow? I'll still be in town. No, um, we'll be in Lisbon um, from Friday. Uh, the Good Morning Portugal show on Friday will be coming from the capital. Um, so looking forward to that. But I'm sure. Uh, oh, well, you're, you might be. You might be globally um, globe trotting, uh, Andy. That's unfortunate. Um, but maybe we will, our paths will cross. Good luck with the new adventures. If you need help finding the ideal place, you should tell us and requirements, assuming you know the answer. That's the problem, Fiona. 
I go around Portugal and I fall in love with a different place every week, as you know. Sometimes two or three places in one week has happened just recently. Um, though for me, it's not. So, I, I was saying to, to to some lovely folks we met up with last night. You know, meeting up with so many expats on the move around Portugal, having a lovely time. Um, you know, hobnobbing it with the community here. Uh, at last night, you know, late late into the evening in Caldas, it was absolutely wonderful to hang out to, with a few folks from this community. I just don't think there are many bad places here. We are sport for choice. Um, Mrs. M, might, you know, you know, you know how it was with expats everywhere. Interview me about that. Ask me that question, Fiona. I, I don't know. I love it. You know, I love so many places here. I'm open to what the, what the what providence and fate might bring. Mrs. M will say, "Look, this is what we need, Carl." Get out the way. Let me answer these questions. So, uh, yeah, um, maybe drop Mrs. Emma line if you're uh, if you're if you're a Facebook friend with her. Uh, I, I was in the Cubs and Scouts. Did not get any badges. Paul, why? My leader gave a yellow stripe out of sympathy. Oh, you were that boy at the Scouts, right? Who didn't didn't get didn't get the, anything? And and you and the um, Arcala felt so sorry for you. Just gave you a yellow stripe, the sympathy stripe, as it's probably known in the scouting movement. Paul, you surprised me. I'd, I'd have I'd have had had you down as the most excellent um, cub or scout, sir. People love you, Carl. Well, you're going to get sick of everyone wanting to meet. Well, I'm open to that challenge. That's a good problem to have, isn't it, Hank? Um, I'm still loving it. I have to say, and yeah, it's going to be great, uh, of course, when we have the. Um, the meetups did talk to uh, Astrid and Jerry yesterday. We are progressing plans on the on the um, meetups, maybe bi monthly at first. I don't know. And all over Portugal, that's my vote. Um, is is that we meet in a different town or city or location um, every month ultimately and have a get together uh, that includes some um, hotel accommodation or maybe a scout style camp who knows maybe louise will it will um maybe louise will help organize that one uh, which pet insurance do you use andy uh, from veggie holics yeah there's a man who knows our research shows that vet costs are cheap in portugal they are and coming from the leather netherlands where vet costs are astronomical yeah just as there's a pharmacy at a multibanco um in every town there is also a vet's practice in most towns and villages in portugal now and and the, and the costs are very uh, competitive here yeah best ask Luis. it's true fiona um drop her a line anyone who's concerned about our future a uh, great idea take gmp on the road that's my eye that's what i'm loving um and um andy uh, fidelidad um boo no i shouldn't do that should i um but i'm just so happy with um nunu that uh, he's my he gets my vote but there, there you go there's someone who knows a, a trusted uh, a client of fidelidad there from andy to veggie holics and uh obrigada uh, and a kiss from Kate. Thank you very much uh, to you, Kate, too. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, I am open to meetups after I move in January. If possible, I bring my dogs too. Well, Matty, why don't we have a kind of uh, a Crufts style? I don't, maybe Crufts means nothing to you. The, the closest Nederlander things is Cruyff, isn't it? The Johan Cruyff. No, it's not. Well, we could have a football meetup as well. And I think some in the community would like that. But we could have a dog show, a dog-friendly get-together. What could possibly go wrong? Um, easier than cats, isn't it? Easier than bringing your cat along to a gathering. But I think that would be great if we have a hotel or someone's got some land and a quinta and we could have a doggy camp, couldn't we? Yes, I, I'm not even going to go there. I know what some of you are thinking. We're not going to be um, attracting that kind of person to our gathering. Thank you very much. Uh, Veggieholics, pleased with the tip off there from Andy. Okay, uh, Paulina Enoch. So here we go. Um, advert for Dr. Mozoji, uh, herbal treatments here. Um, this is the sort of person who gets blocked. But I do like to read them, I have to say. God is really wonderful and precious on his creature. I got diagnosed with herpes. I'm so sorry to hear that, uh, Paulina. I'm sure there are good creams for that these days, aren't there? Uh, I have been dealing with the virus for the past years until I got a review online about a natural cure. People testified on Dr. O here, helped with his herbal treatment, and I ordered the treatment. Sounds like a the sort of doctor who might like to personally apply that. So we're going to give you a, we're going to block you uh, for spamming us like that. Um, nice try. Um, so blocking that user. And maybe deleting that comment as well. Um, let's go back. Let's go back to the comments. Let's go back to the serious comments. Uh, yep, I'd be happy to look into. Yay! Fantastic, Louise. Good on you. Fant Isn't that great? All you have to do is ask. People can say no, but she said yes. Good morning from. I thought it was Doggy Dublin from Foggy Dublin or from Doggy Fublin. Is a NIF necessary to buy and insure a car in Portugal? I would say yes. I think you probably do. Account confirmed. 
That's a that's a good name, isn't it? Account confirmed. It sounds like is that a cut and paste from a separate part of the YouTube sign up process? There, account confirmed, access allowed, access enabled. Okay, um, and um, this is the insurance underwriter Fidelidad um, says. Oh, okay, so you might be able to get Fidelidad policies via Nunu. Anyway, that's a good that's a good thought, isn't it? Um, we don't need to hear about herpes this morning. That, do, then don't mention it again, please, Andy. Uh, you brought it up, as it were. Um, okay, live from Scout Cam. He's gone. I better take that off the screen, hadn't I? And let's have a look at some of the wonderful photos you have been sending in to us. Um, and I do miss them. We have a lot of photos and videos being sent in. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just asking for your forbearance on the matter. And if we, um, if I miss them, you know I don't mind a bit of a reminder. So who's been sending pictures in? Uh, that sounded a bit play school, didn't it? Or a bit vision on. Maybe I should play that music. Oh, Fiona Doherty is angry. Isn't it funny? It's typical in in the um, in the in the world of um, reviews, isn't it? Um, I've got quite a few loves. I've got one love. I've got a few likes, and I've got one angry face. And my mind immediately goes to why, Fiona? Why are you angry with me? Um, let's see if she'll answer. She might be too angry to even answer that question. Um, so, all right, let's have a look at the aforementioned Andy, who's been busy this morning in chat with David Durham here. I forgot to um, mention this yesterday or to share this picture. It's the Pet Shop Boys, isn't it? I think they could, like I said, go on tour. Maybe they'll do a PA at one of our meetups. Uh, the Pet Shop Boys, as a tribute band, they're going to be called It's a Sin, I think, or West End Boys, perhaps. Uh, David Durham on the left, Andy on the right. And that Tamiya a T-shirt there, isn't that the um, those wonderful model kits that you used to be around when I wasn't a scout? Um, that's a great T-shirt there, Andy, that you're wearing. But there's they, these guys hanging out in Lisbon, lovely to see the community getting together. And around that time, too, uh, the most extraordinary smiley moon uh, taken in the heart of the capital metropolis there. Uh, thank you for that early picture, Andy. Do you sleep or, or are you like me? Uh, not very much. Um, and um, oh, we've got to show another picture of the little fella from yesterday. And we the tech all. There's Gilda's little puppy. Tired out again, probably just walked across the room and needed a sleep. What is he, just a few months old there, I suspect. Um, and my morning picture this morning, my it wasn't, a, well, yeah, sunrise-ish, right? It's quite high, high above the hills there. So we're looking at about, I think that was about eight o'clock this morning in the Caldash Hills there. Quite a dramatic sky and a bit of a portent omen for the heavy rain that is meant to be coming all around Portugal um, today. So watch out for that, folks. And um, we have another um, as well from Francis. Thank you so much, Francis, for your uh, sunset, which we can share now. He was researching. I, think, I don't think I showed the sunset from yesterday. So let me do that. Um, that, yeah, they, there's a sunset. There's a Cape Town sunset with a fantastic, uh, nonchalantly placed and composed person with a headlamp on uh, top right of your screen and a sunset from Portugal uh, that Francis has been uh, promising us. There it is. Um, where was that, Francis? Can you let us know? Um, sorry, that's a sunrise, a sunrise from, from Portugal um, with a very Portuguese building there. So let us know. What do those Azalejas tiles say um, on the front of that building there? I'm guessing Faro, right? Or, or the Algarve, uh, for sure, um, for that particular picture. We've got a backstory to this wonderful picture here. Um, there's, there's, as, as far as I recall, that's Andy on the right of your picture there, having a Portuguese meal with his buddies, his Portuguese um, BFFs there, right? And the backstory to this, um, and Andy is joining us on Thursday, by the way. Um, I was, the reason I was up early this morning was on our accelerator program um, for the for the people who want to move to Portugal and want to step it up a little bit. And um, so I'm up at um, six in the morning on a Tuesday with a Q&A for those folks. And we are relaunching for the 1st of October. If you want to join our expats Portugal plan, um, we, we, are, it, it, we are going again from the 1st of October, getting a few ducks in a row. Um, we've we've learned a few things about how to um, offer the best kind of value um, with that course. And we put something together which we're really proud of, uh, which will launch on the 1st of October, which is essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, an accelerator program for people who are just ready to move to Portugal and want to crack on with it and want to cover all the bases of what you need to know. And it includes, the very, one of the first parts of it will be um, an interview, a migration uh, interview, just to know exactly what you're up against. With our close friends, and uh, associates at EI. 
um, uh, Gilda's company, of course, uh, EI Migration. Hey, my grant, uh, they're called. So we're ready to launch that on the 1st of October. If you're interested, drop me a line and we'll make sure you're put on the waiting list for that. Uh, really looking forward to it. And some, uh, yeah, the reason I mentioned that is because the, um, somebody on there wanted to know, a lot, there's a particular demographic, if you like, of people moving to Portugal, it would seem. And a lot of them, their kids have grown up. But there are people, of course, who, whose children are in the process of growing up and people who haven't had children yet. And they want to know about the school system. Andy is joining me on Thursday. This man in this picture, far right, is joining me on Thursday um, to talk about how, how moving to Portugal some time ago. So we'll have a moving to Portugal um, set of anecdotes from Andy on Thursday and also talking about how his kids were educated here and talking a little bit about the educational system here uh, for those who have uh, their concerns or just want to know more about educating children in Portugal. Andy uh, used to live near me in a, in a near a school where I did a little bit of teaching as well. I found it to be the most wonderful experience. The kids were great. The teachers were great, very welcoming. So we'll have lots more to say about uh, education in Portugal. But this picture, this is him with his buddies. It was his birthday lunch. So um, belated birthday wishes to Andy. Um, Fry, birthday lunch fried, ribs and chips, and a huge feijoada uh, with lashings of ginger beer. Um, yeah, ginger beer, right. Um, I think lashings of normal beer, cervejas, um, muito cervejas uh, for him and his pals there. Uh, this is to highlight the difference in birthday culture, says Andy, this picture sent in. They're a great bunch of lads and only one speaks English. I can hardly manage to put two words in Portuguese together, says Andy, but they welcomed me with open arms over 15 years ago. And now I get invited to all their family's events. Isn't that lovely? P.S. I, I still can't string two words together. I blame my dyslexia. Not that, not that I am as thick as two short planks, he says, but we are the same color their words not mine and obviously with no racial connotations yes metaphorically um they mean the same color inside isn't that beautiful take care and keep up the great work uh you're the you are the only English fella in Portugal I've spoken with for years. So it's great to watch the show, even though it's usually on catch up after my morning walks. And his morning walks, too, are legendary. Um, he sent us in some lovely pictures, including that one the other day of the this is one of Andy's pics. Um, good God. Um, was Where are you, Thunder, this morning? Thunder Duck's not with us. Um, but that was one of Andy's pictures from one of his walks. So looking forward to chatting with him on Thursday about schooling, education in Portugal and his life as an expat. 15 years. Um, that's a good that's a good innings, isn't it, to be here and to have some experiences and anecdotes to reflect on with us on Thursday. Um, have I missed any of the pics? Let me just have a quick scroll through my picture desk. You've seen that one. And you've seen that one, which is what um, Zay Pavinia might have done if I'd approached him with me red wig on. Um, so, um, and that is for people who get on me wick on the Good Morning Portugal show. I think I've got approval enough from you Portuguese folks. It's not too dis not too sort of offensive, but offensive enough um, to remind people to back off if they're getting a bit too um, close to the edge or if I'm getting too close to the edge. OK, let's see what you're saying in the uh, comments before we uh, go off on our separate ways this morning. We've done a we've done a doggy fubblin, haven't we, this morning? And Andy, I'm not going to repeat that again. Read Dog Show. I looked after a dog recently with long legs and an afro. Seriously. What was he called? I need a dog. Looks like <laughs> I need a dog. Looks like most owner class. We would win gold. Brilliant, Louise. And that is I have I have emceed at a dog show and really enjoyed it it was great fun and that is often the best um and, and funniest uh particular part of the competition isn't it the dog looking most like its owner um that's fantastic we i think we do have to do the dog show don't we uh, capricorn 12 uh, when you lived in uk did you originate from sidcup in kent oh uh, carl left bank two for the instrumental yes thank you very much um i'm going to get into youtube copyright problems aren't i with that but we do need a bit of a, as we show the pictures we do need a bit of that gallery music going on that used to be from what vision on and um take heart uh, oh no music license needed for left bank two why is it because, because it's so old fantastic no i was just through the park near you uh, over the heath near blackheath Black Heath, as people call it, down here in London. Yeah, Tamiya T-shirt from Japan. Check you out. That is a real Pet Shop Boy T-shirt as well. And Neil Tennant wouldn't be out of place in that, but with a nice silk suit with it, as, of course, as well. Uh, send me your contact details uh, there, Louise, to Matty. Um, when I come to Portugal, I'll be running enthusiast or beginner's photography classes, both in person and online. Anyone interested, says uh, Gary Orgles. That's fantastic. What a lovely offer. Um, let him know. Uh, Miracle Chapel in Porto. OK, let's just bring that up because we've got the caption now. It's nothing to do with the Algarve. That's Porto, folks. The Miracle Chapel 
in Porto. I wonder why it's called that. Um, thank you very much, Francis. Do appreciate your contributions to the show. Hi, Carl. Do I need a NIF? Um, if I'm only going to stay in Portugal for six months, depends what you want to do, Fiona. You don't need one to be here, but you do need one to interact in any serious financial way in Portugal. OK, might be worth uh, picking one up um, in, in anticipation of a longer stay um, is what I would say, Fiona. But once they've got you, they've got you forever uh, on the beach uh, there, the Miracle Church. Uh, thank you very much, Francis, for that. Will you be visiting the Feira de Livro? book fair in Lisbon car well no I wasn't planning to but do you think I should Antonio F have you got a ticket for me um can you get me on the guest list and I'll go as media maybe and we can do why don't we do a good morning Portugal show from the book fair are you in the business uh, maybe um David great Thursday noted fantastic um is that about the webinar that we're doing on Thursday or about Andy probably both um Gary I'm really interested as in this as we're starting to plan to come out there our worry is finding work okay um what I want to do is do more as part of the expats Portugal plan. We're, we're, we're doing some sort of LinkedIn connections. This is an important point, Gary, and perhaps we can do more on our forum to connect people up uh, via LinkedIn and any other you know business networking tools. Good shout, good shout. Must come back to that. Um, Eric Gamble, also those who can afford to move because they never had kids at all. Yes, it does help, doesn't it? Um, Andrew, thanks. I see there are quite a few different plans with their options at Fidelidad. Okay, so they're having a chat about that, which is great. What have I done to deserve this? That's a good name for a tribute band, isn't it? But maybe he's just asking that question. Um, he's having a particularly poignant morning, perhaps. Carl, it seems that I may have to break out the, big, the big blue mask again, as the UK are discussing bringing back mask wearing, potentially. Oh, so you, you haven't been for, for a little while in the UK. Yeah. I, did you did you hear Majid Nawaz yesterday? I thought he was outstanding on LBC. Sorry to get a bit um, specific here and a bit UK, but check that out. His his show yesterday I thought was excellent on this matter. Uh, see you tonight um, with Luisa Uel, a spiritual Portugal show from 11 this evening, and we'll be talking to a, a Portuguese permaculturalist, Helder. Looking forward to that. He's, he's a right character. Um, we must have crossed paths a lot as Black Heath is where I went to school and grew up. My kids went to school there, and so is my dentist, says Capricorn 12. Uh, isn't that lovely? Uh, it's a small world, folks. Ferro de Livro is free and lots to see and buy, even food stands, all available to you in Parque Eduardo, the seventh there by Marcos de Pombo. I think I'm going to have to check it out, aren't I? Maybe live from the book fair. Sound, that sound, thank you for that for, uh, mention of that, uh, Antonio. I really appreciate it. Uh, Pet Shop Boys track, of course. What have I done to deserve this? And uh, you can even have food in the food stands as well as the book fair. There's no Portu Portuguese event is complete without the food, right? Um, I, I can't imagine that. I, pick, I don't think Portuguese people would go if there wasn't some food available and some drink or some cakes, right? That's just not going to happen here in Portugal. And a delightful note. Um, to end our show this morning. A nice leisurely one. Maybe it was Nunu's calming influence being there on Scout. I don't suppose it's very calm now after the kids have fueled themselves up with sugary cereals and they'll be running around on the um, in the Alentejo coast there um, with Nunu and his uh, Scout associates there, um, providing the most amazing camp for the kids. Uh, and very good of him to join us this morning. So I do appreciate that, Nunu, if you're watching this back later. Thank you all as well for being here this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, and uh, it opens, apparently, the book fair. Any, this is for everyone, of course. Um, Fare de Livro opens at 12.30 every day. Got to run. Laters, taters, and an ate logo. Same here, folks. We'll see you tomorrow with the doc. The doc will be back, Andy, on Thursday. And a bit of a feel-good Friday on Friday, of course. Ciao, ciao. And bye for now. Maybe see you on Spiritual Portugal tonight at 11 o'clock Portuguese time. Ciao.